In this lesson, I'll show you two examples on how to find the general solution of a third order differential equation. Question one reads, find the general solution to the differential equation y triple prime minus four y double prime minus 11 y prime plus 30 y is equal to zero. What I first wanna do is write this in terms of its auxiliary equation. And I can do that by converting this into m to the power of three, converting this term into minus four m to the power of two, this term into minus 11 m, this into 30, and from here what we have to do is factor. Now factoring cubic functions is never fun. In fact, in order to factor this, you'd need to graph it, and you can find out what the roots are from there. On the other hand, you can always use trial and error, and if you do use trial and error, you should end up with the following factored form equation. We'll get m minus two, bracket m minus five, bracket m plus three is equal to zero. Therefore, the roots are m is equal to positive two, positive five, and negative three. Once you've found these roots, you can write the general solution. And the general solution, much like second order differential equations, will have the following template, where we have y is equal to c1 times e to the power of your first m, times x, plus c2 times e to the power of your second m times x, plus c subscript three times e to the power of your third m times x. I'll substitute these m's and we're done. y is equal to c1 e to the power of two x plus c2 times e to the power of five x plus c3 e to the power of negative three x. That's the answer to question number one. In question number two, they ask us to solve y triple prime minus y prime is equal to zero. So once again, I'll write down the auxiliary equation that represents this differential equation. We have m3, which represents this term, minus m, which represents the second. To find the m values here, we don't need to graph it. Instead, we can factor it, so we'll factor out an m of both of these terms. This leaves us with m squared minus one. If I divide both sides by m squared minus one, I'll end up with m is equal to zero. That's one possibility for m. If I divide both sides by m, I'll end up with m squared minus one is equal to zero. m squared minus one is equal to zero, bringing that one over. We have m squared is equal to one square rooting both sides, we have plus minus one is equal to m. So the three m values that we have are zero, positive one, and negative one. Using the exact same template, written in orange, our final answer is y is equal to c1 e to the power of our first m, which is zero, e to the power of zero is equal to one. I've erased the e for convenience, plus c subscript two, times e to the power of our second m, which is one, times x, plus c subscript three, times e to the power of our third m, which is negative one, times x. This represents the solution to question number two, and that is how to find the general solution of third order differential equations.